Imagine three friends sharing an apartment. They want to figure out the fairest way to divide up the cost of rent. Alex thinks the person with the largest room should pay the most money. But Bill notices a problem. With that system, the person paying the least has a window, while the person paying the most does not. Meanwhile, Chris is walking from room to room checking the internet connection. How can we fairly assign rooms and prices when our three friends have very different priorities? This is a fair division problem, and there's a simple theorem in combinatorics that can help us solve it. First, we'll draw a triangle, and mark each edge to represent a certain room. For a point in the middle, the distance to any edge relates to the price of the corresponding room, adding up to the total rent. For example, a point closer to the blue and green edges would give those rooms cheaper prices than the red, while a point in the middle would have equal prices for all three. Finally, a point on an edge would have that room's price be free. With this idea in mind, we'll subdivide our triangle and label each point A, B, or C to represent a roommate. At each point, a roommate will decide what room they will take based on the listed price and their own priorities. We'll also assume that a free room will always be chosen, if offered, and we color the points to display which room the person chooses all throughout the triangle. Since each outer edge has a free room, we'll color them first, again assuming that a free room is always chosen. The corners, which have two free rooms, can be disregarded, as it is unlikely that one roommate will be stuck paying the entire cost of rent. Now, we'll walk through the triangle, over blue and green lines like so, in one direction. Since this corner has the only one on the outside, we'll start here, and we're going to ask the third friend on each little triangle what room they want. Chris picks blue for its better Wi-Fi, and we color the point blue, continuing on over the blue-green lines until we encounter another decision to make. Alex picks red for its size, and now we have nowhere else to go. At this triangle, all three roommates have personally chosen a unique room. The three points at which rooms were chosen have prices differing by $250, which is small compared to the total cost, but since price relates to distance, it can be made smaller by decreasing the distance between points. How? We just need to add more triangles, which could result in differences between points of only $5, or less with more triangulation. This difference is so insignificant that the roommates can simply average the prices of the three rooms and end up with three different rooms for fairly chosen prices. This method works because of something called Sperner's Lemma, which states that we'll always end up reaching a little triangle of three different colors. This makes sense. With one entrance, no matter where we go, we can never walk out of the triangle, so we must hit a red point and stop somewhere, edge, middle, doesn't matter. This gives us a method for sharing an apartment that reduces envy, as each person chose their own room, listens to everyone's opinion, so no factor such as floor space is considered most important. It doesn't take too long, since we can stop as soon as the red room is chosen once, and that's pretty good.